Sound check. Check the check check. Ooh. I love it. Oh, good enough. Oh, I wanted to put my phone on there so we could show off the table. Okay. Kind of fun little scenario planned for Sunday. Peck Tech is on here. Let's hope Charlie's going to be on here tonight. I think Charlie is the yeah. one that's scheduled for Sunday. Charlie, are you on here? So you have to yell loud because otherwise he can't hear me. Bri G is on here. Exactly that's how, no, that's how it works. Whoa. Yeah. That's not how that works either. That's how that works. So I need it down in there somewhere. A bam! Look at the lovely. Look at the lovely. I have Charlie Stout's lovely well when Charlie and they drove down from Michigan to see us for a few days. He, he was kind enough to leave a well behind for me. How awesome is that? Yeah, it was great. What? What are you, what are you doing? Got some piggies. Whoa! Got some, got some piggies out here. No, got you're not watching these. You can do it. points out here. That's your stuff out here. So we'll roll, um, not really much reason to roll for initiative, but we roll, will roll for a random event and uh, draw cards. I don't think I'll do cards for the dungeon. Yeah, we'll do cards for the dungeon just for fun. Just just so the, just, just so the dungeon has some cards too. Yeah. You okay over there, buddy? All right. Oh, oh. Are we handing out cards now? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, might as well. Uh, well, I, I guess we need to roll for a random event. So we can roll a D10 for Charlie. So we're doing a live game on Sunday. We'll have a couple videos. Uh, tomorrow's video, I don't know, will specifically be about the game. So that's for his random event, sweetheart. Seven. A seven. That sounds like it must be something good. Let's see what a seven is on the chart of chartiness. The chart of charty tables. What does the chart tell you? The chart says seven is a bit of luck. You get a plus one bonus for your first challenge that you, for the first plot point, for the first plot point that you encounter. So, help me remember that, sweetheart, that, uh, and that'll be Bilbo. I'm what was it? it? I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. It was something about luck. Yep. He gets a plus one bonus to the first plot point challenge okay. that he rolls okay. for. The first plot point challenge. And then we're going to have some ruffians. This isn't all that we'll have. We'll have more ruffians than this. Well, well, well. So we have a fun little, fun little story planned for, for, uh, for Sunday. We'll have some fun. We need more ruffians. We need more. Show the boys and girls our, our ruffians. Which I'm amused by. I'm amused by ruffians. Look at the ruffians. Oh. Look at them. Ooh, he's bare-chested. Oh. Oh, yeah. He does have some life-threatening pecs. But... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that's definitely a ruffian. Definitely a ruffian. Definitely ruffians. Everywhere you look in this place, there's ruffians. Okay. 
Over here. Sure. Over here. I don't know. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Thanks, mostly. Perky. Who's on there? Perky Source. Hey, Perky Source. Kapow! Digging the wells. Oh, I need my glasses. I can't read what they're saying. So we posted uh, a really cute little video this morning. Uh, it's a painting with Max video. Uh, I bet most of you did not see it because it was heavily, heavily suppressed by um, the YouTube algorithm goblins trying to make sure that you guys don't actually watch it. But, um, oh, I should, I, I should post it on here. I should post it into the chat and see if I can get that, if I can figure out how to do that. I bet you I can. Do, 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 no, do, do, do a little song do, and dance, Bessie, do, quick. Do, 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 do. This, one. this is all I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This she's got it. Moon. She's got it going. They don't this call her the world's moon. most dangerous Bessie for nothing. This is the moon what that, that I know. I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Oi. Oi, ba bam. Ba bam. Ba bam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ba bam. Ba bam. Ba bam. Okay, there it is. There it is. So, uh, click that. Possibly. We don't know. Maybe I hope it. I hope I hope it isn't corn. Uh, sometimes you just don't know. Oh, look at that. Aww. 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 So they don't like me posting these videos, and you know, for whatever reason, you know, I I accept. That they they heavily suppress those videos every time I post those, but I think they're cute, and I I feel like I'd like to post them. You know, um, a lot of people don't see them, but I I think they're cute little videos. I don't know. I've I've talked about because they suppress them so much, and and they don't actually allow them to be seen by many people. Um, you know, we've talked about stop doing it, you know, because it's kind of silly to go through doing it if only 10 people are even going to get a chance to see the video. It's kind of, kind of goofy, I guess, but I don't know. It's kind of fun, too, just because it's... It is fun, but at the same time, it is still yeah. wasteful of yeah. time. Yeah. But, you know, it's, uh, I don't stay up late. For just anyone. Oh, there's Kevin Sawyer. Very good. It's kind of like finding treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we've been posting those every Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the first video that we do on Thursdays before the live. I think they're cute little videos. Uh, I love them. They're, we, adorable. Uh, they're very adorable. It's fun sitting down and painting with Max. And uh, it's an opportunity, one, for us gives me a good excuse to spend time, you know, just being, having a little bit of fun with Aurora, Colorado. Damien Larson, you're supposed to be in Utah. Does Utah know that you've snuck off to, to Aurora, Colorado? Oh, Utah's getting the hooky tooth. Yeah. Word on the street is that Utah They've stolen is the getting... Arizona the Arizona Coyotes. Is that the hockey team? Well, Arizona. <laughs> I, I know it's Arizona. I, I believe it's Coyotes. All right. No. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I had an interesting question today. Um, I think it was from today on the Facebook mm -hmm. uh, Pulp Alley Players Group. And a big thank you to everybody that contributes to the Paul Valley Players Group. That means a lot to us. Uh, Absolutely. The Phoenix Coyotes. Oh, oh audio screen goes. Um, so 
big thank you to everybody that contributes to the Pulp Alley Players Group and posts over there. What a wonderful community we have. And that's because of y'all, you know, that, um, you know, we, we really do appreciate that. Wonderful when you guys answer questions as well. Um, so a question came up about it's it was basically the uh, the mastermind sidekick question, mm -hmm. and this has come up before. It's not completely unusual. I was getting get them <laughs> on my YouTube notices. Yeah, well that's awesome. I can answer. I can answer questions just not well or accurately. You know what? I I think trying counts, right? I, you get points for trying. That's always been my motto. I always meant sure. Yeah, because once in a while you might actually accidentally get something right. That's pretty much how I write rules, by the way. Once in a while I get one right. See, I write like thousands of rules and then I show them all to Bessie and she goes, nope, 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 nope. Oh. I like a red pen. She she takes a red pen to all my stuff and says, no, no, this is dumb. Use your stupid, stop being a moron. That sort of stuff. That's basically my day. <laughs> and then I And then I cry. I sob, sob openly. <laughs> Go through an entire box of Kleenexes. Some days, a box and a half. Well, if I have to go through a box of red pins, I guess you can go through a box of Kleenexes. Probably. So the question that came up was... <laughs> 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 the old uh, mastermind sidekick question. And yes, mastermind gives you a free sidekick. But that is the sidekick for that roster. You don't have to pay the three points for it, but it's still the sidekick for that roster. Mm -hmm. So if you want to include a second sidekick, then you have the option of getting the... Uh, League of uh, Legend? Cam Company, of, Company Heroes. of Heroes. You have the option of getting Company of Heroes if you want to add a second sidekick, because that is specifically what Company of Heroes says. It says, right, if you want to add a second sidekick, then that's what that's what you get is Company of Heroes. It's not a, uh, an, like the free sidekick that you get with Mastermind is, is, is not in addition to the normal sidekick, right? It just frees up those points. It just frees up those points. It means that you got your sidekick for free. It doesn't mean that you can then add another sidekick for just three points. A league cannot normally have more than one sidekick. So if you got a sidekick for free, then that's it, right? That's that's your one sidekick. Uh, if you want to add that second one in, then you get Company of Heroes. Um and I apologize for the confusion around that, those rules, you know. Um, that's one that probably would have benefited from a little more clarity. Uh, oftentimes, I try to avoid writing rules for, for the negatives. Uh, instead, I try to just say what, the, what it does rather than what, what it, it doesn't, doesn't do. Yeah. If you understand the difference there, because once you start explaining what a rule doesn't do, you could write forever, right? If you So what I focus on when I'm trying to write stuff, just take it for what it's worth, is that I focus on what a rule does. This is what it does. It gives you a free sidekick. It doesn't. What I don't do is write what it doesn't do. Um, so, just a little tip. All right, let's see what else do we have going on. We have the live game on Sunday. We are continuing our Middle Earth series. Mm -hmm. This is the village of. Don't forget camera four. Archit. Archit. It's a northern village, probably one of the more northern of the human villages. Uh, it's a 
fairly small remote village uh, inhabited by uh, humans uh, and halflings as well. There are a small number of, of hobbits that live in the vicinity as well. And um, the idea here is it's so, uh, I don't know, what, like 20 or so miles north of, northeast of Bree, somewhere in there, uh, up in the, um, what is it, the Weathered Hills or whatever they want to call them up in there. Um, so kind of up north of Weathertop, that, off in that direction, up in those hills, the forest uh, is nearby right there as well. So it's off a little bit on its own. It's, I think, still part of the Breeland uh, uh, little group of settlements, mm -hmm. but it's definitely out on the fringe of, of, that, of that group. So the idea here... Where's this building from? That is the inn from Foreground. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that is, that's from foreground. Of course, it came pre-painted. And these little houses here, this little house and this little house also. We're actually going to have a video on Monday that talks about all of the terrain. And But yeah, absolutely ask yeah. if you have any questions. But there'll be a video on Monday that'll kind of run through a bunch of different stuff. And th th this lovely handmade well. Handmade. Hand carved out of a, hand. Out of a hickory stump from what I hear. Carved out of a hickory stump. So we have this northern village, uh, Archit, and there is a plot underway by a couple nefarious types who may be in league with mm, somebody else pulling their strings and encouraging them to to, you know, be a little mischievous in the area. <laughs> ah! Fuzzies. Thank, thank you. I thought it was going to get me. It was going to um, charge. <laughs> it was going to charge. So the idea here is that right now there are rumors going around. Rumors and murmurs? Rumors and murmurs. Murmurs and rumors. Possibly even murmurs of rumors. Now, the bigger question is... Does the puppet master smell like ointment and pee? What is that supposed to mean? What does that even mean? You smell like ointment and pee. You smell like you ointment smell and like pee. You smell like ointment and you pee. You smell like ointment and pee. So here is the player character group, Charlie. They're set up uh, directly outside of the inn here. Uh, the uh, leader of the community is Ula Lilybottom here. She's standing up here on the front porch just outside the front door of the inn. Look at, it's so, it's lit up in there. You can see the, the glow of friendly people in beautiful. there. It is lovely. Um, and so what our player characters have to do is they have to gather up evidence of the scheme that Odd Fernie and uh, uh, Goatleaf have going, that they are in league with Saruman? Saruman? I don't know. But they have to gather up some evidence to show Ula uh, that something nefarious is going on in Archit. So they're going to go around to these four uh, plot points. There are four of them. And when they go to that plot point and complete it, then they will get that yellow token. And then what they have to do is they have to carry it back and give it as an action to Ula, who's standing right there. Now, once she receives all of the evidence, all four pieces of evidence, then she will become a character and realize that she needs to seek the, the safety of the rangers of the north, and uh, she will attempt to escape out of Archit, at least temporarily, uh, so that she can bring back help. So basically, if, if she makes it off the table... Oh. Did I hit it? If she makes it off the table, then uh, the player characters win. If she does not make it off the table, then... 
the baddies, the ruffians, descend on Archa. They catch her while she's still there. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. They take control of the village for their nefarious purposes. So, possibly using it as a base to raid uh, the main roads that cross through Bree and things like that. So, mm -hmm. um, there are some special rules for the scenario. I'll send those to uh, Charlie. Mm -hmm. It is mostly based on an existing scenario. We've reached the point where we have like so many scenarios right now that fairly frequently I'll find one of those scenarios and go, I just want to change a couple little things, yeah. right? Because we have so many scenarios. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have to have, I don't know, eight, a hundred. I don't know. At least six. We have at least six. And that's just in the court rule book. I, I bet you we're close to a hundred scenarios. Yeah, probably we did. I mean, we did oh. just an area of the months alone got us like halfway there. Yeah. And then yeah. there's the uh, campaign and books. And all the campaign books. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Now, the first scenario book uh, also includes the scenario of the month stuff. So, yeah. uh, Lemuria, uh, Vice Alley, Perilous Island, and Tomb, Tomb of the, the Serpent. Serpent. So... Um, I think each one of those has at least two scenarios in them. Possibly three. Possibly three scenarios. So you add that up, 101. Probably 101 scenarios. Prove me wrong. Missions? Prove me wrong. So. Puppy? What? Very soon. Once we wrap up our uh, Middle Earth inspired setting. See how I softballed you that? I know, I know. So once we wrap that up, I really want to do like some, oh, how do I explain it? I want to do like a league made up of all animals, like a Lady of the Tramp, uh -huh. Aristocats. sort of, Aristocats, 101 Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians. Uh, those sort of interesting little stories where most of the characters are actually animals. And we may do it. At... Rescuers. Rescuers. Help. Yeah, but that, yeah. I know, but they're the Rescue Aid Society, and yeah. then they're all there, and they like to go in and they help people. Yeah, they're a little more anamorphic, though, right? I mean, they're basically just. Oh, so Zsa Zsa Gabor has a fancy hat and a, a luggage suitcase. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that right there. That's, yeah, that right there. Uh, but I thought that would be fun. And we have a decent collection of dogs and cats. Um, you know, throw a, throw a chimp in there or something like that. And I thought that would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Well, 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 oh, oh, let's go through comments. If you if you have something, throw a howdy in there if you're on Damien here. Damien said there's not enough uh, scenarios. We need more. Audios Gringo said I second that. Oh, okay. Damien said I third it. Charlie Salt says thanks for the clarification, uh, Dave. So I think I answered it on the Facebook also. So yes. I can answer quite a bit. Uh, let me hold on. Try. Okay. Thanks for the clarification, Dave. What is that building from? Your layout would make a great Castle Black. Castle Black. What's That's that? from Game of Thrones. Oh. The, the North. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got the bloody fingers to prove I hand carved that well. <laughs> out of a out of a hickory stump. Rescuers down under. Yes. Who oh. who wrote that? Where goes down? Oh. Vern. Of oh. course it was. Man after my own Dennis heart. Dennis Cross is on here. Neil Morgan is on here. Gave us a howdy. Say, give me a, the howdies there, Bessie. Got a Dennis Cross, Neil Morgan, Marty Devine said the Midnight Louis Bark. Louise is on here. Minnie Warmut, Charlie Stout. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Do the Muppets. Oh. D.W. Low, Homeward Bound. I'd cry. I'd cry on that one. Uh, Do you know my nieces and nephews didn't Dark cry Duck. through that? Again, very anamorphic. Why are you so against animals? I, I, that's, that, uh, 
I like an anamorphic. I I would just rather do like like Lady and the Tramp. I want Zsa Gabor. Lady and the Tramp, Hundred One Dalmatians. Those are, those are dogs and cats that look more dogs and cats ish than. Oh walking, yeah, Peggy Lee <laughs> walking a, around on a fancy on, Pomeranian in a dog jam. Why are you why are you why are you name dropping? Why do you feel like the need to like come from a yeah, you know, place of authority. Let's see, we Why got can't Peck just... Tech Audio's Gringo. Lynch oh, howdy, Monson. howdy, Peck Tech. Peck Tech's coming up soon, isn't he? Isn't he coming up soon? Benji. So we have Charlie this Sunday. And then... Um... I know we have... Uh... See, I wanted to do a cat or a dog when Charlie was here. Thundercats. <laughs> When Charlie ran his leprechaun scenario, I wanted to do like a dog or a cat in that scenario. Like just put a dog or a cat out there as my character. Wow. See, I find those things kind of amusing. They they're fun to me. That just it's it is kind of silly. I was gonna but, say that darn cat, but there's already yeah, only the cat. So. Yeah, that darn cat. That would be another cool scenario. So sort of idea though. Yeah. Uh, Mike Ditchburn, that was who it was. Mike Ditchburn is coming up. Mike Ditchburn. Thundercats. Again, very anamorphic. <laughs> Everybody uh, wants to be a cat. Aristocats. Narnia? Narnia would kind of work. They have a they have a fair amount of, of kind of just mm. animal animals, but then they also have some that are a Plus bit you could do magic in it. Cat for pigs pigs in space. We could do pigs in space. We do have to like do stuff that we have miniatures for, like blasphemy. Yeah. No, it is true. It is true. Um, what are your thoughts on playing with unpainted miniatures, everybody out there? What are your thoughts on unpainted miniatures? Before you go too hard on it, Aristocats versus the Dalmatians. Yeah, there we go. Head to head, battle to the finish. Oh. Blood and guts everywhere. See, I think I think the uh, the game is more important than the miniatures. Uh, so when I look, if I would just say that if you ever have an opportunity to play, and you choose not to play because you have unpainted figures, then I would say go ahead and play. I would. That's how I feel about it. You know, it's like. We don't get enough time to play anyway. So if you're if you would ever choose not to play just because you have, your miniatures aren't painted, screw that, man. Play. Get your unpainted figures out and just play. Get your unpainted terrain out. Throw a couple uh, encyclopedias on the table and call them hills and just play. That's how we did it when we were kids, and I think that's. Uh, Better with painted miniatures, but don't let that stop you. Yes, 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 yes. Don't let that stop you. Yeah. Got a point that I don't use unpainted miniatures. Sometimes I'll use unfinished, unfinished scenery, though. Scenery, though. It's not the same way, but now I'm in that get off my lawn, old crotchety fart. Uh, I didn't say you shouldn't play with. Okay, yeah, and and I've actually felt throw your unassembled terrain on the table too. Sure, yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, just throw it all out there. Just a big stack. Well, this throw is... it all out there and just go. Just pretend this is the building. Go, yeah, just pretend that's a building. I, I'm, I'm for that, man. I'm, I'm for that because, like, we don't get a chance to play enough. We don't get a chance to play enough. If you, if you have a chance to play. And you choose not to do it because you don't have the terrain or the miniatures. Man, that's just a, a missed opportunity. Don't do not do that, See, I See, I grew up away from this, so I have no compassion yeah. about the taboo. Yeah. The taboo. Yeah, so. break those taboos. Plus, you know, when you play Monopoly, it's all unpainted stuff. So. You play with unpainted hotels and houses? You don't the pay shoe's not painted. That dog oh is metal? Oh my god, you, you paint them though, right? We never painted anything. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I just said oh we played oh unpainted. Oh my, oh my god. I don't I don't subscribe right, everybody to your else taboos. out there. You guys paint your hotels and your houses and all That's the, the houses situation. All the figures, <laughs> the house and the and the the dog and the wheelbarrow, right? Those are all painted. You don't play Monopoly with Without having your stuff, painted. I've never seen anybody have painted. No, cars. every everybody paints their stuff. To play I've never Monopoly. seen everybody paints their stuff in Monopoly. Otherwise, it's not Monopoly. allowed. I, think I'm gonna play Monopoly. I hate Monopoly. You hate Monopoly. So why are you talking? Why are you talking? I think Monopoly one of the stupidest games ever made. Okay. Why you say that online? Oh 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 oh! Wait. They're telling us to play Monopoly. <laughs> well. No, 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 uh, no, no, I mean, no. If you if you so choose, that's how you choose to live your life. Sitting in a bean bag, eating chair, Cheetos, eating Cheetos, and playing Monopoly. I'm not gonna judge. I will not judge you if that's how you choose to live your life. I mean, I eat Cheetos and place. look at serial killers. It's not stuff, my so. place to judge. Not my place. Yes, and use them in uh, uh, ogre. I just use do the wash the, on the hotels. <laughs> just do a wash. Yeah. With the, you know, those new speed paints work really good on the Monopoly pieces. Boy, you take some of that hardened leather speed paint and put it on the dog. Wham, bam. You got yourself a beautiful little puppy to scooch around on little boxes. Roll that dice. See how far you move. <laughs> I'm going to buy that. Stupid. Anyhow, that's Excuse our time. Excuse you, I can <laughs> That's our time for tonight, boys and girls. We'll see you on Sunday. Play us out of here, Bessie. Do -do 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 -do. Does anybody around here want to come say goodbye before we sign off? Is there anybody else in, 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 in the, the place? Room? Anybody in the room? You want to come say well, hi? Well, come on then. You got to hurry. Oh, a special guest Welcome shows out, up. Now. A special guest shows up. Come on, climb up, quick, quick like a bunny. Ooh. Say hello. Hello. Say don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everybody. Thank you for playing along tonight. We'll see you soon. Mama, can I show you something? Of course you can show me something.